how how did it work for you when you applied for the police department? Did you have to have a some sort of like policing degree back in the day? How did it work? No, you needed back in the day you needed a high school diploma. Okay. You, that's all you needed was a high school diploma. Okay. Now it's changed. You got to have a uh, two years of college. Uh, maybe for certain things like you know like the fire department, they'll waive it if you uh, work in the EMS or. I think some of them, if you were uh, had military service, they give you credit for that. Uh, but when I did it, you know, 30, 40 years ago, 40 years ago, you needed a high school diploma. So when you, when you applied, you took the test and then you got a band score. Right. Did it help at all? Did it help you get on the job at all that your dad was a police officer? No. No, it didn't help me get on the job, but it helped me when I was on the job. When okay. I got there, when I got there, you know, I, I had a hook, and and I I used it, and uh, it helped me out. I had a, I, I can tell you, I had a very sheltered career. I'll be the first one to admit it. I'm not gonna lie about it. I had a hook. I used it. I went to Midtown Manhattan, and it was the greatest place to be as a cop. And then from there, I ended up going into auto crime, which we'll get into. Uh, but I was there. I was in Midtown Manhattan, and in Midtown Manhattan, we were really, you know, these guys can, you know. Other places could say different. We were under the microscope. Everything that we did, you know, was making the newspaper. Midtown Manhattan. We dealt with tourists. You dealt with the theater district. You dealt with the Diamond District, Twelfth Avenue nonsense that was going down over there. Fifth Avenue Association. We were always under the microscope. Every day when we would stand roll call and they would give you an assignment, they would inspect you and make sure that everything on you was spit and polished. Mm. You know. Other commands, I had other friends that worked in other commands where, you know, they would work in, you know, shitholes. They were just happy that the cops were showing up, you know? So they didn't have to deal with what I had to deal with. But then on the other hand, I didn't have to deal with what they had to deal with. Yeah. You know, they had, they had it a lot harder than what I had. Yeah. But on the other hand, I think, and I could be wrong, I could handle different situations better than they could because I had to deal with all kinds of different... Yeah, we had our heavy jobs. You had your homicides, you had your, your shootings, your guns. You, we had not as much as the other places. I mean, back in the day, the 7-5 precinct, and we used to have a radio station here that just went off the air. Uh, I don't know, 10 wins, I think it's still on the air. It was a, give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the news. No, 7-5 used to have the same. Give us 22 minutes, we'll give you a homicide. You know, so it was, it was a, a lot more heavier stuff that was going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but we had our share. And, uh, you know, it, it was different. Uh, when, when I started out, you started out on the footpost. You walked the beat. And you got to know people. And you got to walk around. And it, it was fun. You had a lot of, you know, you had a couple of laughs and stuff. And then they would, you're there for a while. And then you would, they put you in a radio car, you know, RMP. And you're there with your partner. The two of you would be driving around talking all night long. You wanted to get out of the car. One, you had midtown traffic, you hate it. They're throwing you all over the place from one end of the city to the, not city, but the, the precinct to the other. You know, west side wasn't bad, east side, nothing but traffic. You wanted to get out of the car, you wanted to walk the footpost. Uh, you would meet more people. Uh, it was, you would meet tourists, you would meet uh, celebrities every once in a while. I really don't care about celebrities. I don't care about sports figures. I don't care about, you know, mm -hmm. You'd see, you know, musicians. Or something. It doesn't impress me. It doesn't impress me. I don't care. And I never did. And, uh, you know, so it, it was different. I was in a radio car. I had a Sector George for a short time. And then, actually, I ended up going into a detail that they started, Scooter Squad. And I worked steady Monday to Friday, 10 to 6. And, and, you know, and, and I would drive around my little scooter and I would take reports and, you know, handle different jobs. Wait a minute. You're, so you're, you're on a scooter and you're... Yeah, it was a scooter cop. Oh. I was on a scooter. Okay. Do they have those anymore? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I, I think they still do. Yeah. Okay. And, and they were actually better than... They were faster than a bicycle. Yeah. And you can get in and out of traffic in them and you can, you know, you go to different jobs and, you know, they were fun. I took the job for the hours, you know? But, you know, I, I, you know, I, I worked hard. I, considering I would tell you I, I worked hard, I would show you my memo, how many jobs I would handle in a day. Uh, yeah, a lot of them are nonsense, but, you know, they still had to be answered. Yeah. How did assignments work for you? You, you said you went to Midtown. Did you, let me ask you this. Was there 
when you were in the academy, was there some place that you wanted to go? I wanted to go to Midtown. Oh, you did want to go oh, to Midtown. Oh, I wanted to go to Midtown. Okay, so how do you it, I wanted to go to Midtown. How do you how do you end up in Midtown? Nobody else wants to go or No, no, no. I, I like I said, I had a hook. I Okay. I, so Okay, so that's where So Dad went to the chief. And I went next thing you know, I'm in, you know. And I went there and, and I, I but I went there was guys with a lot bigger hooks than I went, you know, and there was guys that were, you know, they would only be there a short time and then they were gone, they were off somewhere else and they were doing other things. Why did you want to go to Midtown, though? Uh, because it, it, it had such a variety. Mm -hmm. uh, and I lived in Queens at the time. I lived in Woodside. And uh, it was very easy commute, you know. Uh, and it was, uh, you know, it, it had everything. It, it had, you know, and shitty neighborhoods and had good neighborhoods, you know. You had, you know, you tourists, great. Love the tourists. And, uh, you know, I met a lot of nice people.